left guard from Louisiana, number 69, Kevin Dotson. Kevin, uh, you made it through this season completely healthy, and I'm sure that had to be something that, that you really wanted to do this year uh, after your, your first couple of seasons, getting a little nicked up here and there. Was that something that was a goal of yours? Uh, yeah, you know, I just I was trying to just, you know, change some people's mindsets on me. I've never been known to be that that person to miss any time, so that was kind of a crazy thing to hear. There's a lot of background noise of people and who thought I was like, say soft, I guess, and, and saying I, did, I wouldn't finish, I couldn't finish a season, even though up to the season, I had never missed a game until I got to the league, so I mean, I just wanted to change their, their perception. And that played out for the entire offensive line. I mean, as a group, you guys stayed on the field together. How much did that help over the course of the season to get that kind of continuity and, and have that kind of continuity? Yeah, it helps a lot because um, the offensive line, you know, it's, it's the team on, on a team. And it's, it's one of those things where the more time you have in, the more experience you have with the people around you, the more you feel comfortable and the faster you can play. New guy to your right this year in Mason Cole, but Dan Moore uh, to your left, and, and you guys obviously played together last year. You guys feel like you're developing a, a nice chemistry together? I do feel like that. I feel like we've, we've bounded a lot over this last year. I feel like we're just going to get better and keep stacking. In terms of how the, the running game progressed over the course of the season, I mean, that has to be, I mean, offensive linemen love to run the football. Just paving the way out there. Great job of getting a hat on a hat and people staying after it. You take a sense of pride in, in hey, we have 150 yards a game basically over the second half of the season. You guys go 7-2 and two because of that running game. We definitely love that. We love to have, you know, all the pressure put on us. We want to run the ball. and. We love to run the ball so much, we're pretty much having competition with the right side, just talking about who's going to be the best on the back side of the play or the front side of the play, and it, it, it makes us play even harder. You guys had that camaraderie this year, despite having some new faces in there. How, how did that develop so quickly? I think just the group of guys that we have, the different types of personalities and stuff, all mailed pretty good, and I think that's that's really what it was. Is everybody's personality kind of matches with everybody else's personality. There's no real divas, there's no nobody who's think that's better than everybody else. We all just trying to come together. Does it help that you're all around the same age? Yeah, I, that, that definitely helps. You know, it's good to have vets sometimes, but sometimes it's good to have a young group that all wants to work. And you had a new line coach this year as well coming so in. He, we pretty much used him as the vet. So <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was, I think that was a good fit for us. What did he do differently that you hadn't done in the past? He was a lot more um, technical and more, say, gentle in his approach when it came to things because he's been a coach for so long. He understands that you can't win every rep. He understands that um, you'll have an off day. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. He doesn't need a person that really just yells at you, trying to get that out of you because he knows what you can do already. In terms of the first season with, with Kenny Pickett, obviously there was some, some difference there. You, you had played with Ben. Pickett obviously brought the, the mobility factor to the game. Did that change how you approach things or how you block? We try to block the same. Um, ben had his benefits of, you know, he was getting the ball out really fast, and I think that's what he made up for in his, in his mobility. He got it out in like 1.8, <laughs> two seconds. So uh, you kind of block a little, just get on fast, and you'll be able to get it off. And um, Kenny, the mobility factor, maybe have to block a little longer, not that much longer, but he'll be able to get out of the pocket or be able to move and um, get where he needs to get to his throw. Do you feel like the way you guys finish the season, you can carry that over into 2023? Yeah, I, I feel I feel like we'll just get better. So I'm, I'm, I can't wait till next, next year.